Welcome to this edition of Planet Earth Weekly News. In today's edition, we're going to talk about the Ebola virus in Africa. The people are asking for information on the toilet uh, virus information. So I'm going to first I'm going to read an article that I have here. Then I'm going to explain about the, the Ebola virus a little bit in deep so I'm gonna read the article field first it says the death toll for Uganda's mystery disease rise to 38 the death toll for Uganda's mysterious disease has risen to 38 people the Uganda Health Ministry announced that preliminary results from tests done at the Central Public Health Laboratories Uganda Virus Research Institute, you said CDC Atlanta and WHO on a specimen obtained from pat patients are negative for Ebola, Marburg, Congo, Crim Crimean fever, Rift Valley, and typhoid. Further tests are being run to identify the cause of the illness. As of December 3, 2010, there were 91 patients and 38 deaths. 13 people have died in northeastern Uganda from the unknown disease. Investigations are continuing to determine the cause of the disease that appear to be similar to the Ebola and Marburg hemorrhagic viruses. 91 cases of the frightening illness have been reported in the remote Abim district. Due to the number of cases reported, the district has been labeled the epic center of what many are calling in the Abim disease. Of the 20 cases in Abim, 8 have died, 2 are quarantined, and other 10 have been discharged after their conditions improved. According to 5 more died in the neighborhood in the neighboring Agago district. The victim usually die between three and five days and are suspect to be highly contagious, said Emmanuel Okich, a health official in Abin. <clears throat> Symptoms include high fever, vomiting blood, passing bloody stool, convulsion and bleeding from openings like the nose and ears. We do not know what we are dealing with. We do not know what is happening. So we must respect the new measures which have been put in place, said Dr. Emmanuel Otto, a health officer in Agago district, which has also been affected by the disease. Health officials warn against communal hand washing, eating bush meat, meat from wild animals, especially monkeys and other primates, <clears throat> and discourage people from the local culture practice of washing dead bodies before burial. District health officials set up, set up an isolation center for those with the disease in Abin Hospital and another local health center. People have been advised against shaking hands to maintain personal hygiene and basically to stay away from groups of people and avoid burials, said Martin Corian, a businessman from the Abin area. Representative from the World Health Organization joined Dr. Otto and his team in Abin and Agago. They visited the sick and took blood sample to investigate the disease. <clears throat> the symptoms of the disease are similar to the Ebola and Marburg viruses, diseases that also cause a deadly hemorrhagic fever. Blood samples have been taken to the Uganda Virus Research Institute in Etebe. The people of this area await the results so we can know how to deal with this, say Dr. Otto. Blood samples from affected persons have also been known, flown to the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia. The new disease bears several similar similarities to Ebola hemorrhagic fever, which has a reputation for mutating and changing. Ebola is a severe and often deadly illness that can occur in humans and in primates like monkeys and gorillas. Ebola hemorrhagic fever has made worldwide news because of its destructive potential. Ebola fever is caused 
caused by a virus belonging to the family called Filoviridae. Scientists have identified four types of the Ebola virus. Three have been reported to cause disease in humans. Ebola Zaire virus, Ebola Sudan virus, and Ebola Ivory Coast virus. The human disease has so far been limited to parts of Africa. A very small number of people in the United States who were infected with the fourth type of the virus known as Ebola Riston did not develop any sign of disease. The disease can be pa passed to humans from infected animals and animals materials. Ebola can also be spread between humans by close contact with infected bodily fluids or through infected needles in the hospital. There is no known cure for Ebola. Existing medicine that fight viruses and antivirals do not work well against the Ebola virus. The patient is usually hospitalized and will mostly need intensive care. Supportive measures for the shock include medication and fluids given to a vein. Bleeding problem may require transfusion of platelets or flesh blood. As many as 90% of patients die from the disease. Patients usually die from shock rather than blood loss. <coughs> Survivors may have unusual problems such as air loss and sensory change. This is the news topic I am reading from globalpost.com uh, about the death toll that is in Uganda and about mystery disease that is rising to Terry. Uh, the health officials are investigating the daily fever that appears similar to Ebola. So they don't know yet if it's. Ebola, but uh, they think it's uh, some mutation in uh, about the, the virus. But what is Ebola? Now I'm gonna read you what is Ebola, the signs and symptoms, the prevention, and the treatment. Okay, so you know what the, what, what we are dealing. If is something similar to the Ebola, that's what scientists are telling and doctors. Ebola is a virus. It's the virus Ebolarius. Ebola virus, EBOP, a viral genus, and the disease Ebola hemorrhagic fever, EHF, a viral hemorrhagic fever, BHF. The virus is named after the Ebola River Valley in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, formerly Sahel, which is near the site of the first recognized outbreak in 1976 at a mission hospital run by Flemish nuns. It is remained largely obscure until 1989 when several widely published outbreaks occur among monkeys in the United States. The virus interface interferes with the endothelial cells lining the interior surface of blood vessel and with coagulation. As the blood vessel walls become damaged and destroyed, the platelet are unable to coagulate. Patient patients succumb to Hypovolemic shock. Ebola is transmitted, transmitted through bodily fluids, while conjunctiva exposure may also lead to transmission. There are five recognized species within the Ebola virus genus, which have a number of specific strains. The Zaire virus is the type species, which is also the first discovered and the most lethal. Electron micrograph show long filaments, characteristic of the Filoviridae viral family. Now, the signs and the symptoms. Also, the incubation period is generally 5 to 18 days. It ranges from 2 to 21 days. Illness is characterized by the rapid onset of fever, malaise, muscle pain, headache, and the inflammation of the paranix. Six days following vomiting and bloody diarrhea, individuals may develop maculopapular rash with bleeding at needle sites and bodily orifice. The prevention. In early stage, Ebola may not be highly contagious. Contact with someone in early stage may not even transmit the disease. As the illness progress, bodily fluids from the area, vomiting and bleeding represent a hazard. Due to lack of proper equipment and hygienic practice, large-scale epidemics occur mostly in poor, isolated areas without modern hospital or well-educated medical staff. Many areas where the infectious reservoir exists have just these characteristics. 
in such environments all that can be done is to immediately cease all needle sharing or use without adequate sterilization process. Isolate patients and observe strict barrier nursing procedures with the use of a medical rated disposal face mask, gloves, goggles, and a groan at all times. Strictly enforced for all medical personnel and visitors. Vaccines have successfully protected non human primates. However, the six months needed to complete immunization made it impractical in an epidemic. To resolve this, in 2003, a vaccine using an adenoviral ADV vector carrying the Ebola spike protein was tested on crab eating macaques. The monkeys were challenged with the virus 28 days later and remained resistant. In 2005, a vaccine based on attenuated, attenuated recombinant vesicular stomatitis virus (BSB) vector carrying either the Ebola glycoprotein or Marburg glycoprotein successfully protected non-human primates. Opening clinical trials in humans. By October, the study completed the first hu human trial giving three vaccinations over three months, showing capability of safely inducing an immune response. Individuals were followed for a year, and in 2006, a study testing a faster acting single shot vaccine began. This study was completed in 2008. Okay, now we go to the treatment. There is no standard treatment for Ebola hemorrhagic fever. Treatment is primarily supportive and includes minimizing invasive procedures, relaxing electrolytes since patients are frequently dehydrated, replacing lost coagulation factor to help stop bleeding, maintaining oxygen and blood levels, and treating any complication infection. Convalescent plasma, factor from those who that have survived Ebola infection, shows promise as a treatment for the disease. Ribavirin is ineffective. Interferon is also told to be ineffective. In monkeys, administration of an inhibitor of coagulation, RNAPC2, has shown some benefit, protecting 33% of infected animals from a usually 100% for monkeys. Lethal infection, however, this inoculation does not work on humans. In early 2006, scientists as USA MRE announced a 75% recovery rate after infecting four rhesus monkeys with Ebola virus and administering morpholino antisense drugs. Development of improved morpholino antisense conjugate with cell penetrating peptides is ongoing. The transmission. Bats drop partially eating fruits and pulp. Then, terrestrial mammals such as gorillas and duikers feed on these fallen fruits. This chain of events forms a possible indirect means of transmission from the natural host to animal population, which have led to research toward viral shedding in the saliva of bats. Fruit production, animal behavior, and other factors vary at different times and places, which may trigger outbreaks among animal population. Transmission between natural reservoirs and humans are rare and outbreak are usually traceable to a single index case where an individual has handled the carcass of gorilla, chimpanzee, or duiker. The virus then spread person to person, especially within families, hospitals, and during some mortuary rituals where contact among individuals become more likely. The virus has been confirmed to be transmitted through body fluids. Transmission through oral exposure and through conjunctiva exposure is likely which have been confirmed in non-human primates. Phylovirus are not naturally transmitted by aerosol. They are, however, highly infectious as a breathable 0 0.8 to 1.2 micrometer droplets in laboratory condition. Because of this potential route of infection, this virus has been classified as category A biological weapon. That's the information I want to bring to you for the Ebola virus and the possibly uh, strange unknown virus that is happening in Africa. 
that may threat the United States or may threat the world it is going spread out of world. Thank you for hearing Planet Earth Weekly News and see you next time. Take care people, goodbye. Black hole, huh?